Today we we're at Holland and Barrett to see what interesting healthy vegan options they've got. So I know what everyone's going to moan about and we don't usually shop at Holden Barrett. In fact, we've not been in there for quite some time. We were really pleasantly surprised though, eh? Yeah. So much amazing stuff. You know, you can go to your budget places to get your main things. It's just nice to have something different, you know, for a change. And so that's why we've done that. Also, we're making a video about it. So we had to go in there and buy some bleaking stuff, didn't we? Soya protein mince. This is textured vegetable protein. This one is blonde. It's not had the brown caramel added, which may be a potential carcinogen. I don't know if they allow that in the UK or not, but in many countries, it is a known carcinogen and they do add it. I think the UK is usually a bit more stringent on its food laws, but it may have it in there. So it, or it, may, it may be a potential carcinogen. So uh, I prefer to go for the blonde one. It's basically soybeans that have been pressed said the oil taken out. So you've lost a couple of fat soluble vitamins, but the vast majority of nutrition is still there. It's lower fat, so it's lower calories, high in protein, the fiber is all there, all the water soluble, AKA most of the, you know, the nutrients are there. Very, very good. I wholeheartedly recommend that. It's the only um, processed food, I think Dr. Gregor said, that is in his latest cookbook. Uh, so that tells you something, organic protein, Means this one is pea and fava, same sort of thing, just a different protein source. Not tried these out yet, we'll let you know how they go. They had a good range of pastas made with legumes, didn't they? Yeah, like black bean mm -hmm. something. What was it? You don't can't remember. I can't remember. Just the different shapes of pasta black bean, mung bean. This is uh, rice made from chickpeas. So, again. You know, another good way, if you're on lower calories of getting your protein up, getting adequate protein, adequate calories, you know, without going over your calories, I should say. Grains, mix up your grains. The more variety we eat throughout the week, the more different gut bacteria we feed with the different types of fiber that you're eating. The more diverse our gut microbiome, the better our lifespan and health span potential. So mix it up, we've got some brown rice there. This will have anthocyanins, the purple, bluey, ready purple pigment, depending on whether it's in acid or an alkaline base, that is really, you know, correlated with amazing health benefits. Dried fruits. Have you noticed that dried fruits tend to be brown? Why are you buying orange apricots? Something's wrong, isn't it? Something's wrong. And it's that they, they preserve it with sulfur dioxide, which is like a, a known colon cancer. Um, risk factor like inflammatory bowel um, diseases. If we ever get apricots, they're brown because they're organic and unsulfured. Don't eat that, but they taste so much better as well. You notice the orangey ones taste really metallic and these just taste like, um, really like caramelized, sweet and delicious. This sort of thing is good. I like this for if you're out and about and you need a high protein snack. Uh, we're going to the camp out soon, aren't we, Gem? The vegan yeah. camp out. And this sort of thing is just a godsend to have a good protein source on the go. Let's see exactly what's in there. So yellow peas, roasted fava beans. So that is 92% of what's in there. There's some seasoning like vinegar, citric acid. There's a little dextrose, so a little sugar is of course salt. But the vast majority of this is really healthy stuff, high in protein, high in calories. What have we got there? Salt and vinegar. This one is the sour cream and chai flavor. I checked there's no dairy in it and this Bombay mix style. Those are gonna be absolutely delicious. I wouldn't mind eating them now, to be honest. Naked bars. You know, if you want something sweet, 
you know, it just eats some blinking fruit. But if you want something a bit more decadent, you know, they press fruit into bars with nuts and other healthy things. These ones have some protein added, so they're reasonably good protein. Okay, well, it's just seven grams total, but if you have a couple of those added on to your main meal, like that adds up, doesn't it now? I think these look interesting. We've not tried these yet. Yeah. What are these, Gem? 50% courgette, 50% peppers. Nothing else. Nothing else. So, you know, low calorie, fill you up, a little bit interesting. Here's some watermelon chips as well. I'm excited to try those. 52 calories a pack. So, you know, if you're dieting, you want to get loads of nutrition in and, you know, you want to eat some more volume of food. Get them up here. These are similar to the protein mix stuff. Um, these are chickpeas. So these are really delicious. Sometimes you get the odd one that's really hard and not very mm. pleasant, but most of them are <laughs> good. Um, I like that flavor. I also like the tomato, garlic and herb one is nice as well, like a sort of Italian type thing. Pre-workout, beetroot juice. This is a concentrated one. You know, I find beetroot juice fairly distasteful, really. So if I can get it in a concentrated shot, that's bad. They had loads of these little shots, didn't they, Gem? Yeah. This is a turmeric and ginger one. So we'll give that a, a little go. Really good painkiller, Ginger. If you've got the starts of a headache or a tummy pain ever, and you knock back like a teaspoon worth of ginger powder, for me, that nearly always, if that ever happens, like just knocks it on the head. Really, really good. They got they had some nice things in the cooler, didn't they? Yeah, these are all really new, aren't they? Yeah, these ones are Harissa chickpea bites. Chickpeas, water, broad beans, onions. Okay, there's a bit of rapeseed oil in there, but if you look at the fat, that's not gonna be a hell of a lot of it because chickpeas are high in fat, aren't they? Just a load of healthy, you know, herbs, spices, that sort of thing. So yeah, some nice little bites, they look a bit like falafels, and then some real quality looking tempeh there. This one's curry, there's 40 grams of protein in that pack, real quality, all the essential amino acids uh, in higher numbers. Protein. Nuts and seeds. So we eat a lot of, oh, I was gonna show you them. We have got them somewhere, haven't we? Oh yeah, they're next. <laughs> so we eat a lot of flax seeds. We eat a lot of chia seeds for the omega-3. Uh, so they're mainstays. Walnuts, if I, when I eat nuts, like I mix them up, but more often than not, I'll add in some walnuts because they actually have a decent amount of omega-3. It's more six than three, unlike the other two, but very nutritious, very nutrient dense. And you know, other than omega-3, we do need omega-6 as well. This pea protein is unflavored. So what could you pop that in, Gemma? Like a curry? Soups. Soups and things. Yeah. Yeah, so you can add that to your cooking. Now, mostly I have porridge and smoothies, but sometimes you want a change. So this granola by Bio and Me is pretty darn good. Yeah, just tons of whole foods ingredients, tiny bit of olive oil, but that's probably not such a bad thing anyway, really on the scale of things. Smooth almond butter, hip and nut. Mm. Don't buy almond butter from other companies or peanut butter. It's always like got the oil at the top, and then at the bottom, it's just like a brick. This is always mixed through really nice all the way. Pip and Nut, my top pick for- Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Pip and Nut, sponsor me, you <laughs> They had loads of different soups. Yeah. This one, tomato, bean, and herb. It's got a trio of beans in a rich tomato -y soup. It's great that they've just got things that you can grab on the go. Golden turmeric, sweet potato, dull, super green soup. They were three for two. Three for two. So we've got three. <laughs> <laughs> now there is a bit of coconut oil in this one, which I would usually swerve like the plague because it's got long, very long chain triglycerides associated with heart disease like animal products have. However, there's only four grams of saturates in the whole thing. So oh, we just wouldn't be eating hundreds of them all day long. Sauerkraut, so good. People ask me, as a nutritionist, people ask me a lot, about probiotics and really prebiotics is where it's at. You can spend thousands on probiotics and they've only got a small amount of different strains in there. Whether they take root really, you know, we don't really know for sure how great they really are a lot of the time. And you can put as many probiotics in there. If you're not feeding them with the prebiotic fiber resistant starch and polyphenols, they just die off. Like they're not gonna be around for more than like a few hours even. So, prebiotics, whole plant foods are the important thing. However, 
if you know so get that right and you've got it 99% right that last little bit um, fermented foods like this sauerkraut they have probiotics in and these can have like a good quality sauerkraut can have up to something like 640 different strains of beneficial bacteria the diversity of the gut microbiome is what makes it work really sexily so this is a great addition i'll eat a couple of tablespoons with a meal and that will be job done we found some cheesy kale chips this is just kale cashew nuts nutritional yeast lemon juice and salt tons of lovely nutrients and delicious and crunchy fruit fetti banana and blueberry this is just freeze-dried fruit amazing if you'd like to optimize your health or body shape without harming animals, go to henchherbivore.com where you can check out our online coaching and meal plans all bespoke, written specifically for you. No cookie cutter bullshit, which is why these ones bleak and work. See you in the next video.